It's the Borderland Blitz, sponsored by Southwest University, back in session. And the gang is back together. JC uh, doing double duty tonight. You saw him on the 10 o'clock news. You also saw <laughs> me at the 5 and 6. I did triple duty today. Two stories in the early hours of the day. One here, and uh, now we're on the Blitz. JC, where were you last week, dog? We missed you. You know what? That was my bye week. My bye week came early in the season, but we're back. You need you need the pampering the week off. That's right. You are you know mid season stretch. A little bit sore there after the first uh, first two weeks, but we're we're back and uh, happy to be here. And uh, speaking of bye weeks, a lot of teams taking their bye week this week. That includes all of District 16A. They'll start district games next week. A quick look at the starting lineup. We got not one but two games of the week. We'll start with the undefeated Del Valle Conquistadores taking on the two and one Canotillo Eagles and the return of the battle of. Las Cruces, Bulldogs, Trojans, second time that we've seen this matchup this year. And then Riverside trying to keep their undefeated streak alive as they hosted Horizon tonight. Yeah, Kate Beery, Las Cruces High School alum, she was telling me her <laughs> prediction for that matchup, 43-33. Cruz is high. She got one of yeah. those scores relatively in the yeah. ballpark. She had the points. She had the over in her alma mm. mater's game. But we're going to start things off here in the Valley. Del Valle entering the night a perfect 3-0, taking on a 2-1 Canyoteo squad. That one loss coming at the hands of a good East Lake team. To the blue turf we go right out of the gate, and it's our game of the week. LJ Martin running back for Canyoteo, one of the best tailbacks in the land. This game a big reason why. Here's Martin right here, fresh off an offer from the Kansas State Wildcats. We're going 58 yards to the Cribbo. Martin's going to see that offer list start to grow as his high school career unfolds. Later on, Kenya Tio back on O. Devin Granado's hands to guess who? Martin, a little bit of cutback sauce. Jailbreak. Out across the 50, and there he goes. You don't know Mr. Martin, you will after this week. All the way to the house, touchdown, Eagles. Back the other way. Cheerleader action, school spirit, <laughs> love that. Kenya Tio back on offense. Granados back to pass. But how about this? Going to be caught by Anthony oh. Ayala. Whoa. We have Husky inside the 10. It's Brandon Tellez it's of like, Del Valle. It's the opposite of a hook and ladder. That's right. How about those red zone TOs? And now we're in overtime. Tied at 28. <laughs> Del Valle picked off on defense. Guess who? Martin out of the secondary. Tailback and secondary star. And he's just going to cap the night. Ending this ball game in the Valley, Canyon Tio deals Del Valle their first loss of the season. Final score in this one, 34 to 28, as the Eagles and the Conquistadores' perfect start to the season at the backs on the back of L.J. Martin. Afterwards, we caught up with the victorious Eagles. Del Valle is a heck of a football team. You know, they were 3-0 coming in, beat some good teams, and we felt like we were a good team, and it just the momentum kind of went with them in the second half. Then that fumble in the end zone, you know, we kind of, you know, I don't know if it's a bad snap or what, but the kids fought back in the overtime, you know, and, you know, LJ saved the day with the pick, and, and then he carried us into the end zone, so. Yeah, so we made some silly mistakes, but I feel like we get those all fixed up by uh, Monday, you know, just watching film. We'll go back over it, and our coaches will do a good job of getting prepared, us prepared next week for Mountain View. Uh, I feel like we got a real good team, and we got a real good chance to make it big this year. The future looking bright for Martin. Oh, well, yeah. For Martin, awesome. he's only yeah. a junior. He's still mm -hmm. got another year of high school ball here. He's got offers from Kansas State. UTEP mm -hmm. is in the mix. I know Dana Dimmel would love to keep him home. Mm -hmm. UNLV, Baylor, UTSA. Again, as I mentioned, expect that list to grow. And give credit to Nate. Uh, I remember Nate, we were watching week That's one right. back, and you literally said, keep an eye on that kid. He's That's going right. to be one of the kids to watch for this whole That's season. That's why they pay me. I, just, right. I, I, they hang, pay I hang out in these oh. high school parking lots with a video camera for a reason. It sounds weird, but there's an end game for it all. There all right. On that as note. As long as you have a reason. On you know? that note, let's go ahead and head across state lines to Las Cruces. The battle for Las Cruces bragging rights. Las Cruces Mayfield. Typically, this game is played as the last regular season game for both schools. But since Mayfield moved down to Class 5A, the rivalry game got bumped up to September instead of November. Now, before the game, some emotional words from Mayfield head coach Michael Bradley who returned to the team after battling COVID. Take a listen. Don't hold back nothing. This is our day. There's going to be good plays and bad plays, but we keep on playing. We keep on fighting. 
and that's what we've got to do in order to win this game. Yeah, second matchup between these two in 2021. Remember, they played a game in the spring season. There it is, but they're a I'll play packed that. house at the Field of Dreams. Normally, it's played at Aggie Memorial Stadium, did, but they moved it to the Field of Dreams. Did Kate Beery shoot this? I probably, possibly. I, will play I know for she's Bradley probably in the house. That was inspiring. First half was a humdinger, but Mayfield opens the scoring first quarter here. Anthony Carrillo connects for five yards, and the score by Calvin Cox, 7 to nothing. The there, fans. but Las Cruces is going to bounce back. Who else? Dallas Boyd going to call his own number. He's going to ramble in from eight yards out. We're tied at seven. Second quarter here, Elijah Ogas. Going to take the pitch and bang his way in from two. Dogs up seven at that point. But Mayfield wouldn't be denied. I mean, this is a rivalry game. Throw out the record books. Carrillo will find Lucas Marquez for an 11-yard scoring oh. pass. Nice grab The right awareness there. to come down inbounds. This, this rivalry would go to the locker room tied at 14. In the second half would be all Las Cruces. However, Olgas again gets the handoff from two. It's 21-14, to 14, dogs. And the first of two turnovers by Mayfield. This pass completion is fumbled right here. Oh. <laughs> and returned 30 yards, leading Elijah Ogas once again. That looks good for Beery's over right yeah, there. We need she, points. She called it. I mean, Kate, she knows her stuff. Oh. Give her some credit. There's Mark Lopez there on the sideline. Las Cruces head coach. This is Elijah Ogas once again, his fourth rushing touchdown of the night. Las Cruces high, never looks back, winning this game by a final score of 35 to 14. Here's head coach Mark Lopez on the momentum changing turnovers. Yeah, I think that, you know, the, the, the fumble Rico picked up kind of was the one that changed the game. Right. And then, uh, and then you know, you get the interception on the next one. And, and really, our guys up front felt really good. You know, talking to them in between series, uh, they felt really good about what they were doing with the run game. And uh, we knew we'd had some stuff there. But, uh, man, kudos to them. Kudos to Eli uh, Elijah and Dallas for uh, running as hard as they did and, and, and taking care of the ball. You'll find Kate Beery at yeah. Whiskey Dicks tonight. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Celebrating Kate. that that win. Well, Drinks are on her. Pockets J a little JC, bit out JC might be anchoring uh, the weekend newscast uh, right. by himself. This Kate weekend. Beery, I've got you covered. You take some Advil tomorrow. <laughs> Make sure yeah. to sleep it off. In the meantime, back here in El Paso, Riverside continues to impress this season. Shout out to Sowell Science and, of course, Fernie Ortiz. The Rangers enter the night undefeated at 3-0. Tonight, they played host to the Horizon Scorpions. Scorpions are... One and two, but a very good team That's nonetheless. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and make our way down there to the Lower Valley Riverside. Trying to stay perfect here. Horizons, Jacob Gijas with a pass here to Ernie Garcia. But it's a, it's a trend we're seeing here tonight. The fumbles. Riverside taking full advantage of this when they pick it up. Riverside's Angel Munoz hands it off to Rudy Valenzuela. Seven zip there. Horizons, Jacob Gijas again with a pass. This time intercepted by Adrian Estrada. Again, the defense just proven to be too much here. Riverside, they went they went for it on the ground. Now they're going for it on the air here. 14-0 here. Big pass right there. Angel Munoz to dominate Colnell. Now, again, Riverside through the air. Oh, oh, nice. Is grab. that a sweet play nominee? They, they oh, won it yeah. last week. They got the sweets yeah. last week. And they might get it this week. The QB calling his number right there. Munoz. Walking mm -hmm. it in. Munoz showing us the flap there in the back. They take this one, 46-36. They stay perfect on the year to, so far. To Horizon's credit, they did battle back in the second half yep. and actually tied the game at 36. Our camera had already left the game, unfortunately. But yeah, kudos to Horizon. They battled back, but Riverside gets it done still tonight, holding on, holding on to that win. And there. the good teams, they know how to do that. They, you know, they'll mm -hmm. let go of a lead. But in the end, just ask the Chiefs. They did it week one in the NFL, you know, against the Browns. They find a way to come back. That's what good teams do. Lofty comparisons there for JC. Talk about good teams. <laughs> Something special brewing at La Jeff. The Silver Foxes 3-0 for the first time in forever. Yeah. Guys, I mean, you know all about this. I broke down the Silver Foxes hot start with Julio Cesar Chavez. Oh, yeah. yeah he's the guy to talk to. ABC yeah. alum, Jefferson alum. Tonight was homecoming at La Jeff. They're hosting Isleta. Unfortunately, Julio currently on the loose in our nation's capital yep. with Reuters. This is the first homecoming game he's missed since he graduated, but the Silver Foxes still throwing it down for homecoming. This arguably one of their most important games in recent school history, and they came out hot. The Silver Fox oh, yeah. breaking oh, yeah. down. Moreno actually went to Moreno it. Moreno also yes. um, The team also coming out hot here as well. Nathan Alcala, dink, oh. dunk on the receiving end is Roman Gomez, easy. and we're out. Out across the 50. This is a pickup of 55. 
At this point, Jefferson's already up 8 0. They're going to extend the lead RPO. Receiving end here. Boom. Yeah. Touchdown. Hashtag make it for Moreno. Silver Foxes are up 14 0. It's all in favor of the home team, and they're not done. Alcala back to pass yet again. Just over the arms of the defender into the hands of Nate Rivas. Something about those guys named Nate. Touchdown, Jefferson. It's all Silver Foxes, guys, and we're taking selfies. Oh, yeah. JC, you know who that is? You're pretty popular on Instagram. Uh, I don't, unfortunately, no. Follow him at JC15. There you go. But Isleta pulling off the comeback that arguably saved their season. Los Damian Indios. Contreras hits Elias Ramos They're on the fast. wide receiver oh, screen. And he's break out. So now it's 21-7. Isleta back the other way yet again. You see, the defense oh. jumps. You, got, you, you free, can't be doing that. You, you got the free play. You got the free play and taking advantage on the receiving wow, end. You nice got to play to the whistle. Oh, Andres yeah. Martinez wow. tiptoes, keeps the feet in bounds. The Isleta Indians are something else. Coming right back. Final score in this game, 35-34. Isleta gets the win over Jefferson. They scored a touchdown, guys, with five ticks on the clock. Mm. Hit the PAT, one that Jefferson missed. Jeez. Silver Foxes see their unbeaten season come to a close. A barn burner there in Central Ooh. EP, gentlemen. Big what a game. win time. That was an awesome game right there. Well, it was Rockets versus Huskies over at Austin High School. Irvin, 2-1 and one this season, taking on a one and two Chapin team. After a slow start, the Huskies strike first with a five yard run from Zion Wallace. Makes it seven to nothing Chapin. Off to the second quarter here. First, we're going to see the dancing oh, mask yeah. up there. It's and a beautiful scenic uh, this is sunset. A, this is this a, a Moreno production. This is a Moreno production. You knew it. I didn't, even, I didn't even have to say it. Quarterback <laughs> Moreno. Quarterback John Newton here for Irvin. Going to go for the long ball and great. Gabriel Gillian oh, oh, can make the catch due to the interference. After several play, the Rockets go for it on fourth and 17. Can't connect here. Next possession, though, for Chapin. Zion Wallace decides he wants to try at the long ball, too. Mm. He can chuck it as well. Oh. Connecting with Josh Morton for a 49-yard touchdown pass, putting the Huskies up by three TDs at this point. Rockets couldn't get nothing going deep in their own end zone right here. Coming up after the score. If I know Moreno, shot. there's going to be a rack focus <laughs> yeah. in one of these Deep in their own end zone, they're going to punt it away, putting the Huskies in prime real estate here with 15 seconds left in the half. The Come on wall. down, Mr. Wallace. He's going to throw... Another bomb, this time He's to Meshach Lemick, putting the Huskies. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that throw right there. Huskies in a comfortable position, <laughs> going to going into the half, up by 28 points. Oh. Huskies are feeling it. Look at that. Moreno. Oh, the full moon is out. Moreno, Chap let the dogs bark. Chapin. How at the moon? Cha how at the moon if you're a Husky, because they get it done tonight. 56 <laughs> to 14, the final. And it's only appropriate, right, Irvin Rockets? A shot at the moon. Yeah. Why not, you know? If, it, if the full moon is out, you know who's lurking right around the corner, guys. Moreno. Yeah. Well, and, no, uh, Moreno and also... Will, Will Heron, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, that's who yeah. we were segueing to. Will uh, was out at a couple of good games tonight over in Far East El Paso County. Uh, Will, what's going on, my man? How's it going, buddy? Sorry about last week to have me up in Blackhawk Helicopters. I was uh, flying around to the Afghan village out of Don Anna Range Camp. Had national news to work on. Sorry for missing you, but I'm missing the most. What's going on, fellas? I got to start with Socorro's win last week. I talked all this trash about how bad the Bulldogs are and how they haven't won a game in like 10,000 years. And the first thing they do when I'm off is win. I've been waiting to say this for years. Congrats, guys. As per usual, the Blitz Brass had me all the way out in the Far East San Eli, to be precise. <laughs> Let's get to these highlights. The 0 3 Eagles taking on the 2 and 1 Bel Air Highlanders. And I've heard playing good defense is helpful for your team. And if that's the case, then Josh Ortega is the doctor as he blows past the center, slams the ball carrier down. The Highlanders' D was good, but their O was amazing. Nicholas Javaria finds some room on the right and cuts back to the middle for a nice 30-yard scamper. He's still going. He can't arm tackle that dude. You've got to have more people. That's how it works. I know. Chavarria is going to count the drive off with six as he slices through the line almost untouched. And we are talking about that Highlander defense earlier. Let's talk about some more of those guys. Mark Sides on the safety blitz gets to the, gets the QB first and Dr. Ortega finishes the deal. Is that a pancake sack? I don't know, because the Bel Air D was eating today. Eagles desperately trying to find some offense. Joshua Garcia is going to throw it up into double coverage. Come on, dude. Joshua Salazar comes down with it for the turnover. Highlanders, they're going to be driving. Noah Moreno 
is going to hit Uziel Vasquez in the wide receiver screen. Vasquez turns on the burners and flies his way into the end zone. Highlanders crush the Eagles in San Eli, 45 to 7. The 2 and 1 Clint Lions take a trip to the sack to take on the 0 and 3 El Dorado Aztecs. Foreshadowing is tonight the night for El Dorado. The Lions came to play tonight. El Dorado. From the gun, Quincy Estrada tries to take it himself, but Quint's D-line was having none of it. Same formation, but the Aztecs, this is Thomas Nelson. Bats going to cut to the first line, then into the second and until he's finally written out of bounds for the 20-yard gain. Drive it stall, but on the punt, things get a little hairy. Caleb Gutierrez has trouble with the handle. He just got enough time to get the ball out and would, would take a nice El Dorado bounce. Aztec would say thank you. Lions turn with the ball. Isaiah Gonzalez is going to get sacked by Eddie Garcia, but that wasn't the last play of the game for the Clint Lions. There was That's still some time left on the clock in the first half. Gonzalez is going to fake that pitch, roll out to the left. Guys, it's going to be a highlight. I want you to watch. Oh. Finds something, but on tackles, he's going to switch course to the right side of the field. Get himself a block. Find some daylight. Oh, no. Gonzalez wants 200 yards to gain 39. And the touchdown sweep play fine. But that wouldn't matter. El Dorado clawed its way back with 10 seconds left in the game. Game. Clint down three with attempt a 49 yard field goal. It wasn't there. Some highlights, but it would hit the post and was no good. El Dorado wins it 30 to 27, their first win of the season. Shout out to Isaiah Gonzalez on the run. Mm -hmm. His dad, Ralph, man. is actually a good family friend of ours. He sent me that video there. I was hoping that you'd show it. I'm glad you yes. did. That kid is an athlete. He is, and Nate he's going to keep on doing it. Nate mm -hmm. might be making the trip to Clint. I might be headed to Clint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I might be out there. <laughs> well, plenty more to come here on the Borderland Blitz. Uh, we're talking Burgess Mustangs. They were out at Hanks tonight taking on those nights. And also two teams looking for their first win of the season. Bowie paying a visit to Parkland. La Bowie. With an A. Vowel, vowels oh, optional on the blitz. Parkland. 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 Park I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. <laughs> Edu and enroll today. If you're ready to take the next step in your truck driving career, Arribas Enterprises Transportation is ready for you. As Best of El Paso 2020 Award recipients, we're a proud member of our community and offer outstanding opportunities in the transportation industry. We offer unmatched smiles and flexibility and an excellent benefits package that's good for you and your family. To find out more on how we can help you on your next career move, call us or visit us online. Arribas Enterprises Transportation Services. Committed to excellence. News doesn't stop on weekends. Big stories break Saturday and Sunday, too. Borderland natives J.C. Navarrete and Kate Beery provide complete coverage of breaking news. ABC 7, the area's only weekend morning newscast at 6 and 8 a.m. Extra resources when events demand it. And an in-depth discussion of a major story every Sunday night at 1035 on ABC 7 Extra. ABC 7, where news comes first, seven days a week. That was actually my cousin there, shout out there, Athena on the cymbals, rocking on the cymbals for the Parkland drum line tonight. I was out at that game. I had to make sure I got my cousin Athena there, so shout you out. go, Athena. Yeah. She was primas. <laughs> music, yeah. uh, music runs in the family. Adrian, <laughs> It does. I was line. in the drum line as well at Eastwood, so as you see, family tradition there. Why not? Absolutely. Is, yeah. she, is she considering playing uh, the, the cymbals I'm there not, at, at UTEP? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, she'll have, have to, to do that. I mean, mm -hmm. you did that, so yeah. it's, it's in their blood. I was in a band in high school. Oh, there you go. What was the name of the band? <laughs> 
Uh, strange cargo. <laughs> strange cargo. We had three gigs. All of them were graduation parties. I feel like you guys for had people a that were for five people that were in our band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's well, right. to the cargo band. <laughs> to East El Paso we go now. It was a matchup between two teams in desperate need of a win. Burgess taking on Hanks. Both teams in search of their second win of the season. We head to Excalibur Stadium, home of the Stephanie Valles. <laughs> And Burgess making it look easy here. Hanks and Burgess in the second, 41-6 there. You saw that touchdown there by Andrew Rutledge. You're going to see another touchdown right here. El Paso's Riggins. And that's how yeah. I was about to say that. The With the lettuce there, 48-6 the score here. That was a 50-yard one. That would make it 55-6 Burgess. And why not just tack another one right there for good measure. Burgess. They needed a win like this. They've been struggling this year. Well this said. is the type of win they needed. QB calling his number just makes it to the edge right there. That's all she wrote, 62. Actually, it ended 69 to six was the final there. Burgess back on the winning column. Well, the Bowie Bears made the trip to Northeast El Paso tonight to take on the Parkland Matadors. Both teams entered the night 0-3, so somebody was guaranteed to get their first win of the season in this one. Uh, check this out. Mascots oh. not getting along, uh, even though they represent... Oh, why are even, names up even, there? Even though they represent the same team, the oh, Bull, friendly fire. The bull and know, Matador face off. like that sometimes. I was told they worked it out. 0-3, uh, as I mentioned, are the Matadors, so well, they were... 0 and 3 there's high tension. They were out to prove something tonight. First hopefully, quarter... Hopefully nobody was wearing a red the, shirt. The handoff to Mark Mark O'Bannon, nice stutter step there you saw earlier, and Mark's is going to take it to Bye. the house. Parkland on the board first, seven and nothing. Nate, I got a Player of the Week nominee for you here as well. I know there's a lot to go through, but check this out. Jose Minjades will air it out to Demirian Chris. Oh, oh yeah. And oh, he does it. Doesn't, doesn't need two. Just needs one. I slowed it down for you. For for you, just check it out one more time. Sticky fingers. Exactly. Didn't need the second arm pan mm -hmm. at all in that one. That, old, old that would make it 14 to nothing Parkland. They just continue to pile it on. 20 to nothing still in the first. The handoff to Isaiah Beasley, and he'll get the house call. Welcome to End Zone City. Matador is up 27 to nil, and Parkland wins this one in a shutout, putting up 50 points to, wow. to nil. First win of the season, that's the way to do it. Before, that might have saved me from a drive to Clint there. I don't know. Well, it's going to be up to the voters, so let's yeah. let the voters decide on that one. This is We have some a lot of good nominees I, I think, this week. I still think you might be going to Clint. <laughs> Before we move on, got to give some props here to Parkland <laughs> offensive lineman Tyrone McDuffie. It was his birthday today, and he had this message for us on the sideline. Check All it out. All right. Hey, stop, stop. <laughs> Borderland Blitz, where's that, baby? Thank you, bro. Happy birthday, man. Thank Have you. Go and... <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mr. McDuffie. He's currently in his junior season, and he's already picked up offers from UTEP and New Mexico. He's Check the it. size Check of Coach I mean, Jones. He's got, he's got the size right there. He's going to be a playmaker He's got for sure. He's got the Colorado Buffaloes as well. Shout out. Power five level. Shout out Coach Jones, my senior year economics teacher. Right. Always got to do that with Parkman. That is a big man yeah, so in a child's uh, body right there. Another, Look at that. Another young man who's got a bright future ahead of him, only in his junior your year so uh, does he have a driver's license yet? guys oh uh, we uh, I, 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 this next highlight I'm just warning you is one of the best highlights in the okay. show because we had the ending of the game right. Anthony and it. Cathedral the game is played at Burgess High School because yep. homecoming for cathedrals at Burgess. JC, what do we know about Cathedral? The they Irish. They travel well. They travel well, they and travel there they are there well. at Burgess. <laughs> cathedral down 19 7 here at the end of the third quarter. It's fourth down for Anthony. They're going. Oh. Complete. So Cathedral takes over down by 12. More I cowbell. Could, I could have used a little more cowbell. Yeah. Yep. Don't blow this for us, Gene. <laughs> cathedral back the other way. This is Rafael Ramirez. Right up the gut, touchdown Irish. Wow. It's a 19-14 ball game. Still down a score. They got to get another stop. They need the football right back. You see, they're down by five. We're in the fourth quarter now. Another fourth quarter for Cathedral, for Anthony rather. I was wide open. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not in the field of play. You would have caught that. You would have caught watched. that. So now, five minutes to go in Cathedral, needing a touchdown to win. This is oh. short and long. Fernando Uriarte oh. hits his receiver, move the sticks, first down. Clock Holds on to the ball. Under two minutes. We're down around a minute to go. Third and ten. Third and long here for Cathedral. They're down by five. They need a score. This is Uriarte calling his own number. Come Can on he down. get there? Oh! What's the call? Six. <laughs> touchdown, Irish, right into your living room. 
and Jeez. Cathedral. I wonder who shot that. That was me. <laughs> that's I right. Was right that. that's Nate why Ryan that's why production. So excited. They yeah. gave me a shout out on the PA system. They offered me Chick Fil A. I respectively declined wow. because Whoa. I've got Speedy's Pizza yeah, here in the studio. A good point. Yeah. Twenty to nineteen, Irish. They get this one. Is. Heartbreaking loss sure. for the Wildcats, though. They've had a good season as well. But uh, awesome stuff, Nate. Got to give you a shout that's, a, that's, that's about as excited as you'll see me there. That's, that's why yeah. we do it. It's another Play of the Week nominee. You're going to yeah. have a lot to sift through. Let's uh, run down some more scores for you. You see Mountain View getting a win over Hatch Valley tonight. This is Mount Mountain View's third win of the season. Hatch Valley has yet to win a game, but 45 to nil was the final in that one. Moving on to Fabens and Pecos. Fabens falls to the Eagles tonight, 31 to 26. And over in Ira Ann. It was Ira N taking down the Tornillo Coyotes 34 to 23. Flock of, flock of seagulls. That's Ira right. Ann so far away. Rich. It's uh, <laughs> my favorite part of the show when we get to check in on social media. And for that, we're going to bring in Brianna Perez <laughs> back with us for another week. Yes, my favorite part of the show as well. Now let's talk some social media. Of course, I want to remind everybody to follow us at Borderland Blades on Twitter. Here we go. Let's and then. Kind of library. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's yeah, see who used awesome. our hashtag today. No. Sir Eric Elkin oh. at Borderland Blitz. Who is this JC guy? Let's bring Rachel back. Oh. I second that. Oh. I second that. Let's bring Eric Rachel Elkin. back. Okay. See how it is, man. <laughs> and then we have the Silver Foxes. Viva la Jeff, Viva fourth la quarter. Jeff. <laughs> Two minutes remaining. Jeff, 34. Isleta, 28. Again, with a nice video. Look at that. Better Look at than that. Nate's, I think. I don't know. That is better than mine. That is better than mine. Nice video. And then we have the Jefferson Cheer enjoying the music at tonight's game. Look at them. Just doing amazing. At that point, it was halftime 21 21. I'm, I'm just surprised there's no kind of TO library. Not, I, yeah. They tweet Not at yet? us every Friday. They, uh, of they had a hard, the, there, there was a nail biter game. They were probably. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to DM no them. I'm going to DM them. Point game right here. <laughs> I'm going to DM them and make sure they're okay. Uh, and hopefully we'll see them next Friday. Yep. Make sure the Another DMs score. There, Look, another <laughs> touchdown here. This was end of the first quarter. Jefferson 21. He slid a zero. Oh, we got and it. And then we have Riverside. here the Ranger Band Middle School Night. Go Rebels, go oh, Rangers. Cool. We have the middle schoolers out there tonight. Stay in school, awesome. kids. Awesome. Looking great. And that's it for the Borderline Blitz hashtag. I want to remind everybody to use our hashtag Borderline Blitz so you can come up here on the big screen. Of course, you can also go on um, kbia.com and we have all our scores right there. I'm glad to see that Eric figured out Twitter. <laughs> yes, and if you don't have Twitter, you can it. always send us your pictures at www.kbia.com slash share. Back to you guys. HTTP dot dot <laughs> colon slash slash www.kva.com slash we play the week. What is it? Yep. There That's you it. go. That's it. Well, thank you very much, Brianna. Plenty more to come here on the Borderland Blitz. We're going to go ahead and recap the games from last night. We had a couple in New Mexico. And we'll also take a look back at the sweet play of the week from week three. Nate was out at that one with the Rangers. You don't have to Google that. That's coming up next. And I'm coming for you, Eric. <laughs> Don't wait until 2022 to start chasing your dream career at Southwest University. We accept transfer credits helping you to obtain your degree faster. Enroll by September 24th to become a registered nurse, a medical assistant, a web developer, or a radiology technician. Follow your passion and start your career today. Call now at 915-778-4001 and enroll now at Southwest University. Visit us at southwestuniversity.edu for more information. Southwest University makes you happen. Attention, this is a paid advertisement for legal services brought to you by the law offices of Michael J. Gopin. Evidence shows that there is a potential link to the heartburn medication, Zantac, and certain types of cancer. Do not stop taking prescribed medication without consulting a physician. If you or a loved one have developed cancer in the urinary or digestive system after ongoing use of Zantac, heartburn medication, or its generic equivalent, you may be entitled to compensation. Call us now for a free consultation at 915-532-1111 and you will be taken care of. We asked Budweiser's head brewer, does 99-calorie Budweiser Select taste like Budweiser? Yes. He passed. But is the lie detector lying? No. She passed. There you have it. Light on calories, heavy on taste. Have a story idea the Borderland needs to know about? It's easy to share it with the ABC7 News team. Just click the Share tab at KVIA.com or in the KVIA News app. You can also email us at news at KVIA.com. 
go ahead and recap the games from Thursday night. We didn't have any games in El Paso, but we had a couple across state lines in New Mexico. I hit the road over to Santa Teresa last night. The Desert Warriors entered, the, the, road, ent Jack. entered the night 3-1. and one. They were hosting Valencia in the first quarter. Santa Teresa quarterback. This guy's awesome right here. Julian Cobos. He's got to go ahead and keep it himself and run. Julian, run. Going to get pushed, up, pushed out of bounds, but not before a 27-yard pickup on that play. Then later in the drive, doesn't only run it, he can chuck it as well. Later in the drive, Cobos rolls to his left. He'll find Adrian Ayon for the touchdown. Desert Warriors up 6-0. Extra point was no good. Then in the second quarter, Santa Teresa knocking on the door again, and it's Cobos to Ayon, the Cobos Ayon connection. Nice grab oh, good for that touchdown. Yeah. High pointing that football. That would make it 14 to nothing after they converted on a two point conversion. Santa Teresa gets their fourth win of the season. Final score in that one was 42 to 22. Then we headed, we headed to Gazden. The Panthers hosting Alamogordo up 27 to six in the second quarter. Panthers tack on six more. Thomas Herrera to Ricardo Rodriguez. Then in the third quarter, it's Herrera on the keeper and he's gonna show off his speed on this play right up the middle. And just wow. turn on Don't the blink. Jets. Thomas Herrera, welcome to End Zone City. Gazden's principal, as you're going to see in this next look. Check this out, guys. Oh, yeah. Doing some push-ups. Let's go. All the Four, points they five, put up. Yeah. Six. And uh, safe to Let's say form. he had a good workout because Gazden will put up 47 points in their win over Alamogordo. 47 to 13 was the final last night. Let's go ahead and talk about some sweet play of the week. Yeah. Now, Nate, yeah, absolutely. taking it back to Riverside, right? I certainly was at Riverside earlier this week. Uh, we had Rudy Valenzuela, who, I, if you remember our play, what do we call this here, JC? That, that's hard-nosed football and the robbery. That's, we call that committing the robbery. The robbery's been committed Courtesy of the Riverside Rangers against East Letta. Courtesy Leta. of the situation. That's right. Shout out to Sitch, Big Daddy Sitch, BDS, Big Daddy Rudy. Sometimes and you then, gotta fall on a grenade. Yeah, and then, uh, that's correct, karma. And then after uh, <laughs> we announced the winner here, I headed over to the home of Saul Sainz, Riverside High School, and think, speaking of people doing push-ups, take a look what happened. Well, after an incredibly close vote in week three of our Albertson Sweet Play of the Week, it's taken us to Riverside High School Rangers. How we feeling? Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, baby, the Rangers making noise, loud, loud and proud. Love that. Rudy Valenzuela here joined by me. Uh, Rudy, you got any words of advice? Committing the robbery against your big rival, East Letta, there last week. Uh, the, you got to lift the kid's confidence. I mean, you took the ball from him. Any any words of advice? Uh, weight room. That's all I got to say, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, hitting the weight room, hitting the weight room. And you guys are undefeated here to start the season. Uh, we going to expect a perfect record come the end of the season from the Rangers? That's what we hope for. We're just going to take it week by week, though. And we, we've got varsity and junior varsity out here. I don't know if we've got enough cupcakes out here for the whole gang, but how are we going to divvy up the cupcakes? Uh, varsity first, I guess, yeah. And <laughs> hey, that's how it rolls. Let's get into these puppies here. Look at that. Go nuts. Just get I was in shorts. Yeah. Al Albertson's always delivers with those cupcakes. Uh, very good. Nate I, I saw Ryan's I, legs always deliver with <laughs> some. Those are toned <laughs> legs, Nate. <laughs> I Thanks, saw man. I saw Rudy take two cupcakes, just as, but he deserved it. Well, he committed yeah, the robbery yet again. You get he the did. robbery, he you did. get two cupcakes. That's right. <laughs> uh, co stay with us. We're going to go ahead and recap all the scores from week four. That's coming up. The robbery has been committed. <laughs> there you go. Nitro Circus is back for 2021. With the action-packed You Got This Tour coming to El Paso. Saturday, October 23rd. Top athletes in FMX, Gage, BMX, Scooter, and more. Are you ready to get this party started? Throwing down huge world's firsts off the biggest ramps in action sports. With more crazy contraptions. More insane stunts. More high adrenaline fun than ever before. El Paso. Get ready to put your hands in the air. We're coming to Southwest University Park this October 23rd. Get your tickets now at NitroCircus.com. Looking to shift into an electric vehicle? El Paso Electric can help. We're your resource to learn about EVs, special charging rates, and potential incentives. Choosing an EV opens the road to a cleaner future with zero emissions on pure electric power. Plus, EVs give you a smoother and quieter drive. Driving green can save you some green. With a lower need for maintenance than gas engines and a charging rate that's about half the cost of gasoline. There are so many reasons to go electric. Get started today at epelectric.com EV.
Visit westerntech.edu and enroll today. Let's go ahead and recap the scores from week four. There you see Caño Tio wins it in overtime over the Del Valle Conquistadores, 34 to 28. Las Cruces, in the Battle of Las Cruces, they get the win over Mayfield, 35 to 14. Riverside, winners over Horizon, 46 to 36. Isleta upends Jefferson, handing the Silver Foxes their first loss of the season by one, 35 to 34. Chapin over Irvin, 56 to 14. And Bel Air gets the win over San Rosario, 45 to 17. El Dorado scores their first win of the season over Clint. Pecos, 31-26 over Fabens. Mountain View, 45, Hatch Valley, nil. Parkland, 50-piece McNugget over the Bowie Bears. <laughs> mm. Burgess, 69-6 <laughs> over Hanks. And that wild one at Burgess, Jeez. Cathedral over Anthony. Oscar Academy winning production there for me. Awesome. That's right, you did fantastic. We're not done yet, we've got more scores here. You're on. 31 to 23. Ira Ann. I, I, Ira Ann. I just, that's that's just, a tough one. I, I feel I, like it, I learned you know, the hard way, too. It's Ira Ann. It Anne. would be just much more interesting it's there. But Ira, Ira Ann. Ira Ann. 31 23. Santa Teresa 42 22. Gadsden gets it done 47 13. And just real quick, got to mention, we got some action tomorrow over in Los in New Mexico, really. Centennial is in Albuquerque. They're going to be taking on Atrisco Heritage at 1 p.m. While Oregon Mountain, they'll have a game at the Field of Dreams at 1 p.m. when they host Rio Rancho. Hopefully we'll get some highlights of that one tomorrow, right, Nate? We got it. David Moreno should yeah, be in attendance right. for that one. We got to give a special shout out to the people that keep mm -hmm. us fed, including exactly. Brianna. Yes. Believe it or not, she had like six slices tonight. No shame from that. <laughs> Speedy's Pizza. Brianna, how good's that pizza? Oh, it's my favorite. My favorite is the pepperoni pizza. And as you can see, look, completely oh, gone. Wow. Thanks so to So I guess Jason. it turned into eight slices for Brianna. She kept the whole box to herself. I, I yeah. think she's taking Always. another box for, for later. That's right. Yes, I am. Yeah. A roadie. I don't blame you. When you're working on this show, you work a, you, you work an appetite. That's Jim for Park, sure. Jim Parker Very may have stolen a box. That's I right. so, yeah. Our web, our... Speedy's. He needs it. He's a grinder. Thank you for being you, Speedy's. Your pizza's delicious. Well, that's going to do it for week four. We'll see you in week five. Unfortunately, though, JC is going to miss week five I and know. week six. He's gone for two weeks. I know. PED, yeah. PED suspension kicking in there. Uh, there was something else in my pre-workout, so league rules say I got to sit out two weeks. You do I'm look joking. You do look pretty trim, JC. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be visiting my dad up in Panama. He works with the State Department, so I am taking a couple weeks off to go visit my old man. He watches, though, through the live yeah. stream. You can do that. You can watch us from Panama. You can watch us from China. You can watch us from your living room on your phone. Awesome stuff there. We'll see if Rachel comes in to fill in your shoes, though. Speaking of an international go. break, that's yeah. right. She'll be coming in. <laughs> well, thank you again for joining us here on week four of the Borderland Blitz. We'll have a good night, and we'll see you next week for week five. We've got some district games going to be starting up so next what, what week. Is, what, is a what is that, Seattle? I, yeah. I, no, that's El Paso, dude. W, w -T -A -E? it's, the, it's the Chase Building. What affiliate that's the, is that? I think I do see the Chase Building. Pittsburgh. Is that, and uh, close your uh, high school show Plaza? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. That's yeah. not, I thought that was San Jacinto Plaza.